Hey golfers and welcome back to the Second Swing YouTube channel. Today we have Ben Warian, uh, the left-handed golfer from the University of Minnesota. He is getting his long iron dialed in his bag, has some questions for Larry Babka, who is A, a fitter here at Second Swing, but B, is also a volunteer assistant coach for the Gophers. So they took some time in the bay at Second Swing to make sure that long iron and that transition from three wood to the irons is perfect in Ben's bag. So let's send it to the bay. <laughs> All right, so we're with Ben Warian here, uh, arguably one of the best college players in in Division One golf, right? You might not agree. You're very <laughs> humble. I I believe you are. I've seen you play some golf. I've seen you play shoot 64 at Quail Valley in Vero Beach, and it was a, just a beautiful round of golf. But we had a little trouble on one hole out there, and. We'll also go back to the tournament before at the Meadow Club where we had a long downhill par three over water into the wind. Right. Quail Valley, same way, long par three into the wind. Your bag setup goes from four iron to hybrid. Correct. So now we run in that and we stand on the tee and have those discussions about, can I get my four iron there or should I chip my hybrid? Right. Which runs through, and you know, we chipped the hybrid at, at the Meadow Club and it ended up very long and you made a fabulous bogey from where you <laughs> hit it. You know, and I felt- Found a fun spot. I felt terrible as oh, the coach geez. telling you to hit it. Oh, but geez. you know, I, I live and die on, on all your golf shots. Um, so yeah, I think it's something, you know, depending on the golf course, I think it's something you need to look in and decide whether maybe a three iron, two iron, and carry your hybrid to and figure out what you need. And, you know, I would say right now, especially in, in major college golf, and, uh, you know, I th we've had this discussion before that, you know, I, th I think the three iron might, you know, uh, I hate to use the word game improvement, but a user-friendly <laughs> type three iron with a graphite shaft that's going to give you a little bit less spin Absolutely. And that distance of the hybrid, or maybe just short of the distance of the hybrid, might be more useful than your hybrid in your bag right now. 100%. So let's hit a few four irons. Yeah, I let's think do I, it. I think I covered what you know we've discussed in the past. Absolutely. If, you know, and if you have any thoughts, uh, I am always open to listen to you. Absolutely. No, just like you said, it's always nice. I feel like depending on the golf course to have that extra option, yep. right? Always nice to have you know options in this game, I feel like are always a good thing. Just to see kind of how you can best attack the right. golf course on any, on any given week. Yeah, and there's a beautiful four iron and it carries 220. So once again, we're working with a D1 college golfer. <laughs> so speed is not, speed is not an issue. We are, we are getting better. We're getting better. Speed's not an issue, but we do need, we do need some control at times. A hundred percent. Beautiful swing there. Thank All right. You. So let's, let's try. I brought a few things. So let's try a little, uh, tailor made. UDI 20 degree. Sweet. Let's see what it does. All right. Yeah. And I have a couple other ones. I have another tailor made and I have a ping. Yeah. You know, and we'll kind of get an idea of what kind of distance we want. Let's see one what we of got. the got. One of the things that I don't want to take away from you mm -hmm. is I don't want to take away so much spin that it's not controllable. Right. You know, and, and if you get a club that goes too far, then we're backing off it. Then we're back in the same situation we are with the hybrid. Right. Now you're like constantly chipping, chipping right. on the exactly. green. Exactly, so. exactly. Well, I, I, just like we talked about as well with that situation at the Metal Club, the 14th hole was blowing very hard into the wind. Right. And right, we chipped that hybrid and it was, it, it was a great shot. It was a shot we talked about, but it just didn't have the spin to Correct. the green. It just kind of kind of bounced through and, yeah. and, and, and ended up long. So yeah, like, like you said, yeah, just that little bit of extra spin, making sure we're not taking too much, too much off. I, I couldn't agree more with you. Yeah. yeah. So hit a couple full ones and yeah. then we'll hit a few shots with it. We'll Let's see, do it. We'll see what we get. Let's do it. All right. That was a little on the thin side. Yeah. But a good one to see to start. Yeah. Okay. See that oh, brought yeah. the hit a, hit a couple more. Yeah, that shaft's probably just a 
fraction softer than what we need. Okay. So, you know, unfortunately, as a left-hander, you've probably heard this before. <laughs> We don't have a lot of equipment for you, but hey, we do, you know. We make do with what we well, have. Well, and yeah. we're kind of in the transition period with manufacturers and new equipment right exactly. now. So. Exactly. Exactly. That one was a little better, a little more yeah. solid. Well, see, and there's, now there's the shot. Yeah. I mean, there's a shot that carries, you know, carry, carries about 20 yards longer than your four iron. Right rolls out a little bit to 260 but we yeah. look at the spin rate and the spin rate's still around 3500 right that's where when you chip that hybrid a little bit uh -huh. that spin rate really drops almost gets down to like the mid 2000s almost like driver spin rates yeah. really yeah. yeah and it's got that bullet and you hit it and all of a sudden you're yelling get down <laughs> exactly so you know i i think a club like this for you makes a ton of sense hit a couple more yeah we're going to try a couple different shafts i also want you to try i also want you to try the ping crossover yeah let's do it but let's with, do it you know you're used to having tailor-made clubs that yeah. fit you pretty well yeah pretty similar yeah once again very solid very similar just a beautiful, you know, it's a shame that you can't control your speed and spin very well. <laughs> you know, the last one was 34.93. This one's 34.67. We're getting better, Larry. We're getting better. Not yeah. quite. So if you want to play Division One golf, watch this man hit golf balls. Oh, man. Watch him hit golf balls because yeah. it is a clinic sometimes. We are, we're, mo we're moving in the right direction. We're moving Thanks to you, okay, we're moving so, in the right direction. Well, you know what? I might, I might decide... Help you decide what clubs you should in your bag, but I don't have to hit a shot. You're, <laughs> you're the one who has to hit all the shots. Oh, well. I, I, so this looks like it's got a little bit of a different look to yeah, it. Yeah, this is a little bit, again, this is a little bit more game improvement. A little more game improvement. A little bit more high flying, but yeah. stiffer shaft. Exactly, so and it looks like it's a it's a degree stronger as well. The yep. other one was 20, right? This one's 19. Yep. Okay. let's see what happens. All right, yeah, let's see, let's see how, she, how she flies. Okay, similar speed. Cover that one nicely. Yep. So a little similar spin. A little okay. less carry. A little well, bit. Just yeah, a little higher spin, again. but also just a little lower little lower launch. Cover that one a little bit more than I was intending, but I like that that spin number is kind of responding to that. This goes up just a little bit. If you all haven't realized just yet that Ben is a perfectionist when it comes <laughs> to the golf game. And pretty much his life. Oh you know. boy. So Schoolwork, schoolwork, and schoolwork and golf. We just do the try to do the best we can. That was solid. Yeah, there you go. Just a touch more spin. Really yep. nice flight there. Yep. Very similar carry to the other one. Yeah. So you know the the three, the three iron looks really good because the two iron, you know, we would we would take a little bit of spin off and we would add some distance but then we're going to start getting into the realm of your three wood right you know we don't need two clubs going the same distance exactly so let's try the let's try the ping crossover let's do it see what see what it does but, let's do it yeah you know but uh, it's looking like the the tailor made udi yeah absolutely with, you know and absolutely honestly with the uh with the ascent 100 gram X. Yeah, I think that you, felt great. I think you, I think you got a weapon. Yeah, that felt great. It felt, it felt very, um, very controllable. You know, yeah. felt like the golf club was in front of me, which I love to feel. I love to feel like the golf club is, is staying in front of, me, in front of me, especially as a fader, at all times. Um, the last thing we want as a fader is to get the club right stuck behind us here. Yeah. Right, we feel like we can't really square the face up, and we get that kind of ugly, ugly left shot. So yeah. it's always nice to feel. Really feel that that club face, nice and in front of me at all times. Did I say perfectionist? <laughs> all right, just a touch there of a go. tug, but Again, not bad. Yeah. yeah, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of funny with it with this club, right? The you know the the, the sole right is so wide. You'd think it would make a, a difference on the look, but it really doesn't. You know, it's Good. still got the thinner top line. 
yep. which is which is really neat. You can't even really tell that 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 sole is even there when you're looking down on it. Well, and it's you know, to me, where your level is, we find the right loft, we find the right shaft. Then it becomes about look and feel to you, right? Because what's look. What, if you like it, if you like the look and you like the feel, then what is it? It's confidence. Exactly. And how do you, pl how do you play high-level competitive college golf? Right. You better be confident. Right. I mean, you can't stand. I mean, think about it. How about standing on the first tee at the Blessings down in Arkansas, which yeah. is an absolutely beautiful golf oh, course. Oh, man, is it ever. What might be the hardest opening tee shot in golf Seriously, that, I, that yeah. I've ever seen. You better be confident with what you're doing. Oh my gosh! Because yeah. if you're not, you're in trouble. Yeah, that's where that's where that's when that's not, when it starts to get interesting. If you're that's, not, you're making six. Well, that's when an already difficult game yeah. starts to become even more difficult. Yeah, you're gonna start you you're gonna start your day with a double. Yeah, and that's none of the holes after that get any. No, easier. yeah, that's that's not what we're looking for. That one was just a touch of a block. Oh, never mind. Well, no, never mind. Pretty good. No, pretty solid right there. See again, there. so that's another that's another good thing I like about about this shaft as well, right? Even when it yep. feels a touch late, right? That that shaft is stable enough to where the club is still staying ahead of me, starting right, allowing me to well, this yeah, get it to fade back. Well, this is a little lighter, little lighter, mm -hmm. but it's extra stiff. Yeah. So let's hit one more with yeah. that, then we're gonna go back to the original club. Perfect. doesn't go as far as his three iron and you just add head covers to your bag all the time. <laughs> whatever works, whatever well, works. But, but tell you what, the beauty of this game is that once you get the both of us inside a hundred yards, that's well, when it starts to get, that's when I start to get schooled a little bit. Yeah, you'll probably, you'll probably lose. <laughs> exactly. Give me a hundred yards off the tee, I'll get you. So that, <laughs> that fly is good. I like that fly. Yeah. But let's go back. Let's go back to the original one. Yeah, absolutely. And let's see what happens. Absolutely. Let's see what happens. But I can think, you know, looking at that flight. Yeah. And you would probably agree. I mean, think about the five tournaments you played. Right. How many times could this have come in handy? Oh, a hundred percent. This could have been a, an absolute game changer. That's just beautiful, right yeah. there. I mean that is that's everything we're hoping for. That that's got speed, that's got spin, that's got carry. Right. And it, and it you know we're looking at about 20 more yards of carry. Right. Compared to your four iron, which is exactly where we just had those times where it's exactly. like if I had that one more club. The exactly. other thing is what I would love to see you do, which you do so well, is hit me a couple knockdowns. Yeah, let's that. do it. Yeah. Well, how nice how nice would that shot have been? Well and, and the beauty of it, so right, we took about twenty feet off it. That wasn't the the, the mega stinger, but that was a really right. nice, right, controllable shot, still spinning at yep. almost four thousand, which right, we know that when that thing's coming in, obviously it's gonna be gonna we, be coming in a little bit flatter. It's still got enough on it to stop, just like at that situation we talked about. Right. At, and we know the hybrid loses too much spin. So one more. Right. Let's give it the mega stinger. Yeah, we'll we'll try we'll turn this one over a little bit here as well, hopefully. Yeah. Like that shot we saw the sixteenth by yeah. another college player. Yeah. Just hit this absolute bullet twenty feet off the ground. One of the best golf shots I've ever seen. That'll be And I've seen a lot of golf shots. Yeah. Touch of a pull, there but you go. not Touch bad. Of a pull. I'm, I'm going to give quite... you. I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one more. Yeah, I'll start this one a little yeah. more. A little more down the that line. Still, here. that still would have been very playable on that hole. Absolutely. But yeah, we just saw. I'm talking to Drew outside. If anybody doesn't know, <laughs> we this kid from Michigan State hit a hit a. I think a three iron. Yeah. It just hit it 20 feet off the ground into the wind, about 10 feet away on this par three in Florida. And it, it just absolutely, it was that shot right there. Something that more like that. That is absolutely the shot he hit. Something more like and that. And that is absolutely the shot you, that to me is the only shot that's missing in your golf bag with your current setup. Absolutely. And again, you know, that thing's right. It's a low, 
penetrating draw, it's still spinning, right? Yep. So a little over 3,400, whereas that shot with a hybrid, just like we talked about, is probably spinning, what, mid, mid 2000s? Well, and, and you also, the construction of a hybrid versus an iron, you're gonna have more control. Right. I mean, just inherently gonna have more control with what, with what happens. And, and if you think about it, you probably don't hit your hybrid that much in a round of golf. Exactly. And you're always trying to, it's never a full hybrid. It's right. It's a chippy, it's a chippy. I'd rather see a chip in a three iron like that much better. So. 100%. Yeah, the UDI Ascent 100X, it's a home run for I you. I love it. 